guys. So I'm super excited today because today is our first big sponsor giveaway thanks to CampingSurvival.com. So I just want to give those guys a big shout out and a thank you for sponsoring this giveaway. That being said, what am I giving away? Well, that entire big pile of gear you see right there, that's what I'm giving away. Estimated value of $300 plus dollars. So we're going to go through each item here, have a look at it, and then when we're done with that, I'm going to post up a link and a little bit of instructions on how you can register to win this kit for yourself. So let's get down to it and see what we got here. All right, guys, so what I've done here is I've tried to organize the kit into some logical components, right? So what we're going to be looking at right now is the medical components of this kit, starting with this amoxicillin, right? This is a must-have for any basic first aid survival kit, especially for something you have at home. The amoxicillin is a general antibiotic that just works and works really well. So I thought that was cool that that was added in here. Then got some anti-radiation tablets and Thyrosafe. It's a potassium iodine tablet that, what does this stuff do? It um, prevents radioactive iodine from getting into your thyroid gland during a nuclear radiation emergency. Now. This got me thinking because I didn't, I don't have anything in my kit to handle something like this. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a nuclear attack from Russia or some other large state actor. It can literally just be a nuclear meltdown. You know, talk about Fukushima, you know, Three Mile Island, Chernobyl comes to mind. So, thought that was really cool. Got me thinking, right? Then got this silver gel here. Now, I've been seeing a lot of products with the silver solution stuff in it. It seems to have some really cool health benefits. So if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff, go ahead and Google it. I think you'll like what you see. Now, this is the big stuff right here. Surgical set. Heavy duty stuff, right? This is surgical instrument kit for minor surgery. And this has, you know, a hemostat, a needle holder, scissors, tweezers, the whole nine yards. So that might be a little freaky. You might not know how to do surgical operations and stuff like that. I don't, but hey, it's all good because also included here is the survival medicine handbook. Now this thing is the damn bible when it comes to knowledge and information on doing anything medical related. I mean look at how thick that thing is. There's just tons of tons and tons of stuff in here. Everything from what's this? Dealing with dental fractures to um, what do we got here? Germs that cause disease, food prep, uh, minor wounds, uh, wound closure, how to staple, um, fractures, am amputations. Uh, hopefully you never have to deal with that, but hey, if you do, it's all good. You'll know how to do it. And uh, then finally, we got this first aid kit from Adventure Medical Kits. Now this thing is a great starter kit from what I can see and a kind of a foundation to build on, right? And we got just, what, what we got here? A whole bunch of good stuff, uh, survival tools, Bunch of stuff for wound care, bleeding, blistering, strains, uh, sprain, strains, medical instruments, and medication. So, with all this right here, you got you got you got pretty good coverage for medical events, right? So that's the medical side of it. Let's go ahead and look at food. Okay, so for food, the first big thing here, and this thing, like if you don't want to eat it, it could be used as a weapon, right? But this thing has 2,400 calories in this brick right here. It's just like just this big solid brick, and uh, there's it says eat one bar every six hours per person. So if it was just you, this would probably last you for a, uh, you could make this last for at least five days, right? So you got that. Then this is cool. I'd never seen canned cheese before. This is the uh, great Australian cheese. So um, that's pretty cool. I have no idea how this tastes, but uh, who knows? I just never seen that before. So pretty cool. Then we got some pulled pork right here. And then finally everybody's favorite Tabasco sauce. So I'm thinking, I could make myself a spicy pulled pork sandwich, right? So I use I, I use the bar. I get two bars, right? I take the pulled pork, put that on the bar, and then the cheese on top, and then dump some Tabasco sauce on there. And man, I'm living large, right? So we got that for food. Now let's go ahead and look at lighting options. Okay, so let's talk lighting. What I got here is this Luminade light. Now I had never heard of this product before, obviously, until it came in the survival kit, right? So this is pretty cool. What it does is this whole bag right here inflates and it just like this it, it turns into this big glowing orb right so i gotta show you guys this it's kind of hard to describe and get my point across so hold on a second okay so there's the bag fully inflated press the button so check that out, right? That's pretty cool. You can just, you know, you see this hanger right here. You can just hang this. So there's two different lighting modes. That's a, that's not quite as bright. 
And then you got, let's see, where's the flasher? Right, so there's the strobe mode right there. And I believe, if I recall correctly, this thing charges from the sun. So that's pretty cool, it doesn't require any batteries. And then once you deflate it, it folds up into a nice compact little um, bit of gear. So you got that right there. Then we got some light sticks for the, your next trip to the club or um, for a real survival situation. And then we got this 12 LED flashlight. We got, um, it has 12 LEDs in the end there, right? Each one of which has 5,000 working hours and it requires three AAA batteries. So that covers our lighting options. Let's move on to, hmm, let's go ahead and talk about water. Let's see what we got in here for water. We got this military style issue canteen right here. Can't go wrong with that. We got some water purification tablets here. This is Chlorflock water purification and it eliminates Giardia, bacteria, and viruses. 30 packets, treats 8 gallons. And let's see, um, this says swirl for 30 seconds and wait 7 minutes or 15 minutes at colder temperatures and then you're ready to drink. Then we got a life straw, right? You guys all know the life straw. You all know it works really good, so can't go wrong with that. And then finally, got a canteen cup. So pour your uh, unpurified water in here, drop one of these bad boys in this, wait uh, seven to 15 minutes depending on temperatures, and you got clean drinking water. So that covers the water purification hydration section of the kit. Now let's go ahead and look at the miscellaneous items that really don't fit in any Pacific category. Okay, so what do we got left here? We got this solar wind-up radio. It is crank operated, so just turn the crank, um, make sure your antenna is up, and then you're going to be able to listen to FM and weather band. Keep you uh, just surprised at what's going on around you, right? So that's a cool item to have. Then we got good old Strike Force fire starter made by UST. And uh, if you're not familiar with um, UST, they are just a really good quality brand that just produces really good quality stuff, right? With, I mean, check out that ferro rod. That's just super big and beefy. Nice big striker. This is going to uh, take care of you, no worries. Then, for entertainment and learning opportunities, we got this wild food identification card game. So, um, you know, you can learn, see what's around you, get something to eat, and uh, also have fun in the process, right? That, we got a stuff bag, right? Stuff bag is multi-use item. You can do just a ton of stuff with it. Obviously, um, it is ideal for sleeping bags, clothing, and other camping gear. But there's lots of other stuff. Uh, off the top of my head, you can take this, stuff it with leaves, and have yourself an improvised sleeping bag, a pillow. You can sit on this, put it on wet ground, um, and uh, who knows what else, whatever comes to mind. So, got to have one of these. That's awesome that it is, this is included. And then, got this. Folding fishing pole. I thought this is like the coolest item in the kit. This thing, I'm assuming, works like this. You press this button, this flips out, and then you cast, and you reel back in. Pretty sweet, right? So I thought that was a really awesome item. So, you know, you can go fishing, you catch your fish, you bring it back to camp, you clean it, get it ready, then you use this to start your fire, and then you sit back and uh, enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? Get something to eat. So I thought that was really cool. Um, never seen these before, and um, yeah, so that's a pretty awesome item. And then finally, something to put all this stuff in. We got this day pack by Rothko. It's got one, two pockets in the front here, and then there's pockets on each side. And then finally, there's obviously a large main compartment. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can win this stuff. Okay, so how can you win this and the rest of the items in that kit? Hey, that's real simple. Click the link that I have in the description of this video. Go there. All I need from you is your email address, first name and last name, and your enter to win. It's that simple. So what I want you guys to do, click that link, enter, sign up, and hey, you might have an added chance of winning, a better chance of winning, if you share this video on social media. So make sure you like, share, comment, all that kind of good stuff. Spread it around because this is a pretty damn cool giveaway. And I, just one more thing I want to say is thanks again to CampingSurvival.com for sponsoring this giveaway. Check out the links to Camping Survival. They got a really, really big e-commerce site and then also a really big Facebook page. So I'm going to be sharing those links with you guys right over here. And then, um, hey, that's it. Go there, sign up, and hopefully you win the kit. Good luck.